Hello the people of the universe, this is the Hoovian Wizard and welcome back to another video. And today, in this video, we are once again in Minecraft communities, as we so often are. Um, so yeah, let's get straight into things. Actually, we're not going to be jumping up there today. Look at me being all surprising, I don't know whether that was much of a surprise, but hey, there we go. And Chris has now got a room, well I say he's got a room, he hasn't quite got a room yet, he's currently living in my room. He's just got a little bit of carpet down there. Just to keep him warm in the cold nights of the winter. Which it is currently winter, so I suppose it makes a little bit of sense, doesn't it? Uh, so today we are going to be building a uh, moderator's house. Lord Moderator, how are you today? Good. Okay, let's go. And the update's out, uh, by the way, as you can tell. Uh, he or she, let's go with... Is it she? I don't know. Let's just go with she. Uh, she is now... Uh, a proper cat instead of just an ocelot that's tamed so yeah we're soon going to be building let me show you where we're building a house so we're building a house just down there opposite the dog house but obviously she's going to have her own house because yeah she she's a cat she doesn't really fit in with the other dogs and yeah let's let's go with it and i don't know whether i've showed you this before but i just thought that it looked pretty cool with all these different colors so i thought hey where better to put it than the art corridor itself so let's run over here and we definitely will not forget to feed the dogs today because we're working right next to the, uh, right opposite them even. So yeah, that's going to be pretty fancy. Uh, so let's jump up here. Uh, let's run over this way. I don't think there's anything else that we have to do. Oh, of course there is. I forgot about this. Uh, wait, no there isn't. Forget about that. <laughs> okay, don't worry. And hello, Mod. Um, I don't know, is Mod a male's name or a female's name i don't know i suppose because it's a lord but at the same time it's a cat so cats are stereotypical stereotypically uh fe female there we go i finally figured out what i was trying to say uh so green is gracie there you go uh yellow is of course lello let's go with you uh uh, pink is of course rosy. Let's go with you. Nope, don't need that. Nope. Okay, there we go. <laughs> um, and then red is of course loyalty. He seems to have one more pork chop, uh, one more meat of his choice, I suppose. Uh, then anyone else? Because he's just that loyal. So we're going to be building over here. So I'm just going to run over here quickly and make sure that uh, mod is following me. So do you want to do you want to get out of the grass quickly? Uh, so I'm going to sit you down here. Like just just look over in that direction and you can turn around in like 10 minutes time and there's going to be a big house here for you. Well, I'll say big. It's not actually that big. But it's it's a decent size, I would say. I like to say it's a decent size. Um, So we should have some glass in here. Yes, we do. Uh, So let's get building. So uh, I've marked all of the um, dimensions out with these flowers. Very cunning. Uh... So, is this correct, Mundo? So, block two windows and then a block here. Okay. So, it's a, I always do it slightly differently. And I probably shouldn't because it's really frustrating. But sometimes I do it so you break away the flowers and place a block there. And other times I don't. This time you break away the flowers and place a block there. So, all the dimensions are already figured out. So, I don't have to count them along. Well, I suppose I did already a little bit. It's better than just going 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 sort of thing. Um, so, yeah, this is this is sort of the size of the house. So I didn't want to build, like, a grand mansion or anything. Otherwise, it would make the dogs feel like they haven't got their own sort of spaces. Which I want them to. I, I like to think that they like living together. Maybe, I don't know, maybe there's, like, a whole sort of, like, drama going on with who likes who. And, like, I don't know, what's, go what's going on with the dogs? I don't know. Maybe they actually, like, hate each other. And we, we just like, oh yes, they're best of friends, but maybe they're actually just hating each other. Maybe, like, there's a war going on. I don't know. Maybe that that's a mystery to solve for another day. And I don't know why I only grabbed one stack of bricks. I knew I was going to need more. Uh, let's just grab another stack out of here. So the roof's going to be made out of birch. And uh, this doesn't look too good now, but trust me, it will look very good once it's done. So, um, yeah, so, 
Uh, let's just go over here. Uh, build up along this way. Uh, over here. And then we'll add the roof on. So I do believe that the roof is uh, starting here. Let me just quickly grab this picture up. Uh, while we get the uh, thing uh, where is the picture I normally have this really organized but I haven't today uh, where is the picture or where are the pictures I suppose because there are more than one uh, it just helps me sort of remember where the roof's gonna be and stuff uh, not there. Uh... No, don't think I have them. I think I've made a muck up a little bit. But hey, there we go. Wait, do I have them? Let me just check over here. Is this it? No, that's not it. Okay, never worry. I think I've got... Um, I think I know what it's going to be like. I literally designed it yesterday. Actually, I think it was like three days ago. But hey, I, I think I can remember. So uh, we're just going to have a couple of windows in there. We're going to grab all of this book. We might not need all of it, but it's better to have more than less. And I, why did I just make three crafting tables? I saw myself making them. Stop making more crafting tables. I, I was thinking that they were like stairs because I was thinking that I'm going to have to make stairs with the crafting tables. So let's just make all of this and I know it's space consumption wise is terrible here. But hey, it's fine. Uh, that's, this is the way that we do things around here. Uh, so it's going to be like a sloped roof. I quite like the design of it. Uh, and I hope moderator will as well. Or mod. Uh, so let's just jump over here. I'd say jump over here, I'm placing it. Um, so let's just go up this way. And we've, we're gonna make it overhang by one on each side. And we're gonna have it sort of like sloping up. So it's gonna be like really annoying to do now, but hopefully we'll be able to get on the roof in a minute and do it then. And then add all the sort of smaller details into it then. And oh, actually, I just thought of something that might be quite good. I'm not sure though. Yeah, I might not do it now. Yeah, I definitely won't do it now. But I will... Yeah, I definitely won't do it now. But I might try it out um, after the video because it's going to be a little bit risky. But I think that it could pay off. Oh, this is a good uh, thing of having a stack of crafting tables here. Uh, let's just craft some more of those run all the way back over here well I say all the way and I wasn't really running I was just walking uh, and yeah let's not worry about the excess ones because I'm just going to keep falling off if we do that uh, so let's just pile up this front section here and then we'll add all the rest on afterwards this is probably the best way to do it so uh if we go like so, then how's this? Uh, that might be good. I'm not sure. Uh, I'll, we'll experiment with it a little bit. Uh, go up like this. Like the front of the roof does look a little bit empty because it's just a big triangle. But I think that looks okay. So how does this look? I think, yeah, I think this is okay. So... Uh, let's just go along and add some more of these in uh, along like this there's going to be like a little lantern on top of the doorway inside that big bit while well, I say a lantern it's going to be a torch uh, but yeah it's it's just going to add a little bit more to it rather than it just being all the same uh, the inside isn't much either like we'll have like the litter tray and stuff from uh, her room inside mine and then we'll be able to move Igor out of the room that he shares with Fredwick and give him his own big place. Because currently he's a little bit surrounded by hay and stuff. Or maybe... Maybe Igor could have the bigger room and then Fredwick could, like, move out. 
and we'll build him a house as well because like he's Frederick's like I can use Frederick occasionally to get around whereas I go I'm never going to use him to get around I'm not just going to stand on top of his hair I mean his hair is rather impressive but no I don't I wouldn't do that so anyway let's uh, run across here uh, do the rest of this hello kitty cat uh is it worth yeah might as well just start filling in the rest of this down here just to make it a little bit easier for myself there we go uh and then the top of it is just going to be half slabs along the top uh what i might do is i might have three half slabs obviously going along the top and i can't i uh, don't have any more so let's run to the crafting tables, craft them all, and then run back over here. Maybe I should. No, no I wasn't going to do that. Well, I was. <laughs> I shouldn't do that, though. I was going to put, like, another thing on top of the... I was going to put another furnace on top of the furnace and just have, like, a pile of things and make it, like, a podium of just furnaces and crafting tables and whatnot. I'm not going to do that. <laughs> It'd be a funny idea, but I'm not going to do that. Uh, so let's just go back along here. I don't want to make it all into steps because the birch, uh, the floor as well is going to be birch, and we've got a special thing as well to do at the end of the video. So I'll sort of do that at the end of the video because that's what I'm doing at the end of the video. I don't know what I'm on about anymore. Um, so yeah, we're just going to add these bits down there as well. So this looks pretty. Uh, big and empty but we're gonna have like something up there it's not gonna be just that we're gonna try and do something else fancy in a minute but that's not uh, necessary right now and I don't think yeah what I was gonna do is I'm gonna put like a tripwire hook inside an item frame um, and then do it like that uh, and then put a torch on the block where the item frame is but I don't think that would have worked properly so I'm not gonna bother doing it fancy I'm just gonna do it how it needs to be and we can't reach the roof from there and uh can we reach the roof from here yes we can just about uh there we go last block can i do it i can do it <laughs> of course i can do it um so let's jump back on the roof <laughs> this roof has probably been the roof that's most jumped on so far you should get a prize roof um Let's go and grab some half slabs, just like so. Uh, <coughs> I nearly made two stacks, that was really way too much. Uh, but hey, there we go. Hindsight is a wonderful thing. Uh, so what I might do down there is instead of adding more stairs down there, I could just add half slabs up there. I think, uh, yeah, I think that looks pretty cool because then the slope sort of gets less drastic as well by doing that before it suddenly just goes into a point. So yeah, I, I'm quite happy with this. Um, so let's just go up here and we need to extend this up as well, uh, the stairs, because that's not quite, uh, it's not all hung out one yet. Then we'll add the stairs on the underneath of it as well. Just to add a little bit more detail. And yeah, it should be all good. So let's just go and pile along here. And there we go. We should then just be able to run all the way along here uh, to the end. So there we go. How does this front look now then? Why am I wrong third person? Uh, okay, yeah, I think that looks pretty cool. Uh, so let's just hop down here and i shouldn't have done that should i and i just placed the torch down there um so let's jump back on the roof and add the final layer going out the back and then we'll see how it looks from the outside so i don't think we'll be doing actually you know what we'll start doing the interior but i don't know whether i have enough birch on me which is really not something that i thought i would have to consider doing this uh nope terrible with stairs well, they're easy, but not when you're doing it from this angle. Because sometimes they go the wrong way. Is that the right way? That's the right way. Uh, this the right way? Nope. 
I'm destroying it with a pickaxe now as well. I'm really not on my A game today, am I? Uh, there we go. Uh, there we go there. Uh, can I reach to put this like that? Nope, did it wrong. Uh, let's just do a little bit of a... No, I can't reach it. Okay. Uh, I'll just pile up then. It's probably the easiest way of doing it. Don't know why he didn't just do that before. It'd probably make a lot more sense than doing it like I am. But hey, there you go. Uh, then we need to add two more down there. Then these should be pretty easy. Uh, I can just use the last two down here. Uh, like so. And then... Uh, go up there. Uh, so this side is now done. Nope. I still need to add these on over here. Uh, like, nope. I'm terrible with these. There we go. Wait, why is oh that's just that's just a mistake. That's not supposed to be there. I think this this looks pretty cool for a roof. Uh, I'm going to try something else with the roof, maybe. Uh, depending on how good it looks on the sketchbook world. Uh, so yeah, let's start doing... Let's start digging. Uh, so it's just going to be very similar sort of to what's in here. Uh, to what's in their room currently. It's not going to be like something fancy. They're not going to have like a TV in here or something stupid like that. It's just going to be cat essentials, I suppose. I don't know what's the sanction for a catfish, I suppose. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, let's just fill in this uh, ro uh, floor here uh, very, very quickly. And then we shall uh, grab this. And I think we should just about have enough. Not entirely sure. I didn't really calculate how much uh, birch we needed for this video. But I think I got it roughly. Uh, as long as we can fill in this, yeah, we've got enough. Hopefully, I don't know. I just said that. I don't know. Uh, we're gonna have to make do with what we have. We probably won't be able to get it all done in this video because we're just about coming up to the twenty-minute mark now. Uh, so I think, yeah, I'll I'll move all their stuff over in the next video, um, or in between this video and the next. Let's just add this like that, and then they can have a birch door. I'm just assuming they really like birch. Maybe they hate birch. Maybe birch is their least favourite type of wood. Maybe it's their least favourite type of block in the entire game, for all I know. But I think this looks pretty nice. Let's just, for now, add that there. I think this is looking pretty cool. Let's just go and introduce Moderator to his new ho. Her new ho, who I know what I'm on about. Come on, Moderator. Let's go. Uh, so let's run around here. And here we go. Moderator, come. There we go. This is your new home. It's a little bit empty right now. It's not the best. There we go. Loving it already. So, uh, yeah, I'll add like all their fridge and their little uh, litter tray down there and stuff like that in the next video. But for now, I think we're done uh, for this. Uh, I only wanted to really to get the exterior done. It would have been nice to get the interior done, but it's literally just a fridge. And a litter tray and a table. You know how I make tables for using litter trays. <clears throat> anyway, now for the special thing. So uh, a while ago, I gave uh, Dan, also known as Spiro at Sapienta, the employee of the month here for uh, coming up with the idea for the name and stuff like that. So I thought it might be a good idea for people that have just sort of helped me out in my videos and stuff to give them a shout out. And I didn't want to at the start of every video go like, and a big thank you to, I don't know, Laurie and stuff like that. So I decided at either the start or the end of the video, I don't know, but it won't be every video. It'll be every time I have some, uh, I have to thank someone for something. Uh, then I'll make them employee of the month at one of my shops. Uh, so is there a crafting table in here? Because I'll add, uh, yes there is, of course there is, it's a cake shop. 
I can hear a witch as well. Did you hear that? I'm not sure. But anyway, so employee of the month here is actually no, that's a little bit too high, isn't it? Uh, let's go employee of the month here. Uh, <coughs> uh, employee, employee uh, of uh, the month. Uh, nope, that's not how you spell month. Employee of the month. Uh, let's put a colon there actually at the end just to make it slightly neater. Uh, uh, while I'm thanking Laurie, I'll put Clan Prime because that seems to be the name he mainly goes by. Uh, actually, no, that's really messy, isn't it? Uh, Cla uh, no, let's just go with Laurie. Let's just thank Laurie for it. Uh, let's not be too fancy. So I wanted to thank him for many reasons. So he was the one that suggested this idea of doing this employee of the month. So that's why he's the first one. Well, the second one technically. Uh, but also because he helped me an awful lot with my Christmas thing. Uh, like the Christmas two-parter that's just gone. Like he helped a lot with that. Obviously he played himself and he played Santa. So that was like a big thing. And also because like he had to buy the Santa skin. He had to buy the entire skin pack because he didn't have it before even though I checked with him many times and he said he did and he didn't so yeah I thought I might as well uh, like um, thank him for this uh, his YouTube channel uh, Oki Smoky Literature Club he doesn't upload very often but occasionally he uploads a stupid thing on the side it's nothing that big uh, but yeah so uh, this cake's already partly eaten so let's just Someone's been in here and have eaten some slices of this these cakes. It's ridiculous. It is absolutely ridiculous. They didn't even buy them. It's atrocious. Uh, anyway, so uh, as always, I thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. The link to the next video will be in the description once it is online. In the next video, uh, we'll probably be building Fredwick Stable. Uh, so I thank you all for watching. I hope you really enjoyed the video. Uh, go and check out Laurie's channel, Clem Prime's channel, uh, Oak Smoky Electric Club, uh, and yeah, uh, that's really all I have to say. So, uh, I hope you enjoyed the video, and goodbye.